wrote a script for this video and everything. This is the first video that I've ever written a script for apart from my open letters to society. Those are the only videos I've ever written a script for. This is how serious I'm taking this video. So serious. Like, 10 out of 10 serious. This was, the script is even on my laptop, not my iPad. Like, 10 out of 10 seriousness. And I would appreciate it if you guys took it seriously as well. So much, so, yeah, so much severity. Hello humans! Fair disclaimer, um, this video is not your usual happy-go-lucky, let's joke about the world kind of thing. Today I want to talk about something a lot more serious than that, and it's my YouTube channel, so I'm going to. If you have an issue with that, goodbye. I can practically hear people clicking off this video already. Today I want to talk to you guys about World Vision and Rwanda and the 40 Hour Famine and all that stuff. I was going to say good stuff, but it's not. Well, some of it's good. If you've never heard of World Vision or the 40 Hour Famine, today is going to be fun for you. World Vision is basically an organisation that helps third world countries and helps develop small townships and basically just helps people around the world and they're really great. And the 40 Hour Famine is an initiative that they take, but I'm going to talk about that later. So yeah, I guess we just get started. 20 years ago, in a little country called Rwanda, there was a genocide. There was 100 days in which 500,000 to 1 million men, women and children were murdered. 500,000 to 1 million Rwandan citizens were killed due to civil unrest. Hutus were forced by their superiors and the core political group of the Akazu to take up arms against their Sui neighbours, to rape, maim and murder their colleagues, friends and acquaintances. Tension between the Hutu-led government and the Sui filled Rwandan patriotic front have been mounting for four years prior to the mass genocide, but when a plane filled with state leaders got shot down, torches were lit and all of Rwanda got caught up in the blaze. As a result of this genocide, Rwanda's had it pretty tough the past 20 years. HIV rates have spiked due to war rape and many children have been born into widowed or single homes. The destruction of infrastructure and loss of so much of the population absolutely crippled the country, challenging this newborn government to somehow grow and stabilise a then failing economy. Life hasn't been easy for Rwanda, and it isn't easy now. But there is something that we can all do to help. World Vision first landed on the ground in Rwanda 20 years ago when the genocide first started, helping displaced citizens find safety and shelter in neighbouring countries. Now 20 years later, they're bringing the focus back to this war-torn country. The 40 Hour Famine is a yearly initiative that World Vision makes and something that everyone can be a part of. By going with that food, technology, talking, furniture, even just electricity, for 40 hours you can make a real and tangible difference in someone's life and you never even have to meet them. I'm not making this video to guilt trip you, and I'm not making this video to bring your day down or to make you feel bad. But for the people of Rwanda, these words that I've typed up on my laptop and am now speaking into a camera in my bedroom, these words are their reality, and these words are their past. But these words can also be their future. This year I'm going to that food and furniture for the 40 hour famine, and yeah, it's probably going to be hard, but what is 40 hours compared to an entire lifetime? Please consider either donating to me or to someone else you know who's in the 40 hour famine, or maybe even do it yourself. People out there need help, and you have a real opportunity to do something about that. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that got a good bit guilt trippy towards the end there. But yeah, you guys, I feel really strongly about this. Um, I've done the 40 hour famine since I was in like, grade two? Basically since junior school. Again, guys, the purpose of this video wasn't to guilt trip you. It was just to open your eyes to what's happening. And yeah, what is 40 hours when these people live an entire lifetime hungry or without a house or without a bed? So guys, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you got something out of it. It wasn't meant to be, oh, let's laugh at this thing that's happening. It was, this is my real and tangible plea to you guys to help out um, and to let you know that I'm going to be helping out and to bring your attention to this very real issue. I hope that you got something out of this. And I hope that you... Um, now go and do something about what you've learned. Yeah. So guys, love you all and bye. I'm still in my pyjama pants. Um, and my pyjama top. I just put a sweater on. But my family's coming over for mum's birthday. So I'm probably going to have to put actual clothes on.